putting aside the price tag and the various use cases, there is no denying. Apple Vision Pro is Apple's most impressive piece of technology yet. I'm gonna show you why. Welcome everybody, welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and I'm beyond excited to make this video. I first got to see the Vision Pro headset at WWDC last year and it, it's been almost a year, but now it's, it's here, it's in my hands and anyone can go and buy this. This is a real product. So in this video, I wanna kind of set aside all the opinions on the, the operating system and the app selection and how it's used and the price, all of that. I just want to take a second and, re and reflect and admire the absolutely impressive piece of tech that Apple has put together here. So let's go ahead, walk through all the fine details of Vision Pro, what makes this stand out, and how this is the most impressive edge boundary pushing piece of technology that Apple has ever created. Holding Apple Vision Pro is incredible. It's basically the epitome of Apple design, borrowing different aspects from all of Apple's various product lines. The curves of the display feel like an iPhone. The top button and the digital crown feel borrowed from Apple Watch. The strap is clearly inspired by AirPods Max, and the software is even based on iPad OS. The front is dominated by this elegant curved piece of glass, which is supremely glossy. Don't worry, Apple includes a cleaning cloth in the box. And I know what you guys say, you're mocking Apple's $19 cleaning cloth, but I swear, I've never found a polishing cloth, cleaning cloth that has ever worked as good as Apple's. So yeah, I'll take a second version of Apple's polishing cloth in the box here. The body of Vision Pro is made from a single block of cnc aluminum, which is as core to Apple design as donuts are to Homer Simpson. Apple basically doesn't make a product without using cnc aluminum in some fashion. There are two bands included in the box, the solo knit band that comes pre-installed and then the dual loop band. It's clear that an abundance of time went into designing each of these as they magnetically jump into place and they have an Apple Watch Ultra style pool tab to remove them. Vision Pro uses an astonishing 12 cameras. The two high quality primary cameras are used for pass through and do a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to making you feel as though looking through the Vision Pro feels like looking through a window. Six are used for tracking your hands, movements, and occasionally even people around you. Four are used to track your eyes to determine where you're looking, what you're selecting, and even to mimic within your persona. Don't forget LiDAR and a true depth camera system to which are used to measure the distance between things in 3D space and for scanning your face when creating your personalized persona. The internal screens are wonderful. Each display has a resolution higher than a standard 4K TV and there are two of them, one for each eye. They feature up to a 100 Hertz refresh rate and cover 93% of the DCI P3 wide color gamut and are easily the best looking headset displays that I have seen thanks to their micro OLED technology. This technology is basically brand new and kind of prohibitively expensive, but it's key to get rid of that screen door effect that you see with basically every other competing headset. You definitely can tell that you're looking at a screen and there still is you know, some black around the edges from the light shield, but honestly, this is the best implementation of pass-through video that I've ever seen in their 12 second photon to photon delay, which is basically just how long it takes from light to, to exist to be then transmitted back into your eye is extremely low. And for the most part, I don't notice any motion blur unless someone's coming in from the edges, which occasionally I'll see a little bit of like distortion or blurriness, blurriness as they pop into frame. The speakers are these little oval boxes on the side of the headset. Apple's taken all of its audio expertise from other products to make these speakers which really sing. Spatial audio has been a big thing for Apple, even going as far as to pay artists extra for using the technology, and that looks to continue with Vision Pro. From FaceTime calling to movie experiences, spatial audio is used wherever it can be, and it's really something you have to listen to. Taking this audio further, if you pair your AirPods Pro second generation with USB-C, but only this version, you get new low latency connection and lossless audio. 
This is Apple's first lossless audio implementation that hasn't required third-party help. Apple has moved over the years from the passcode to Touch ID to Face ID, but Vision Pro is the very first product to use optical ID for authentication. This uses iris-based biometric technology so that when you put on Vision Pro, it's able to verify your identity, which is crucial because you're using things like your iCloud photos and your messages, and you wanna make sure that no one else has access to this. Even more critically, all of that biometric information is stored on Apple's industry-leading secure enclave chip that it creates and that can also be used to authenticate for purchases in like the App Store and in iTunes. There are two primary chips inside of Vision Pro. The first is the M2 processor, which you're probably already familiar with. Apple has basically taken the power of a Mac and strapped it to your face, but it also has an all new one of a kind R1 chip. The R1 is what is largely responsible for the very low 12 millisecond photon to photon latency, basically acting as a conductor to the Vision Pro's orchestra of sensors. Apple says the next video frame is already prepared by the time that your eye sees the previous one. And finally, all of this comes together in Apple's newest operating system, Vision OS. It's based off of the already highly successful iPad OS, but allows you to interact with your content and apps in full 3D space. This is that spatial computing that Apple keeps talking about, where you can simply look at something and lightly tap your fingers together to select it. And you don't even have to hold them up in a weird way. You can just set them on your lap and it just feels so intuitive that you don't have to think about it. There's a lot more to say about Apple Vision Pro. And I will say it in many upcoming videos, but for right now, it was kind of nice to take a step back and appreciate all of the technology that came together in this single piece of kit. So let me know down below what you guys think. What is your favorite new piece of technology here in Vision Pro? Let me know in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU or on threads at Andrew O'Hara 941. Otherwise, stay tuned. Got a lot more awesome content coming your way.